What happens when a high-level player wants to balance being on a leaderboard and having fun? He quickly discovered there were consequences. Sure, he knew the path would be difficult, but he didn't expect this. Good evening, Madeline. I am hearing much rumblings about the amount of fun you are having on your chase for the leaderboard. Are you prepared to finally admit the ways of Grublet are pointless and stupid? No. I do have other means to persuade you. Wait, 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 I, I can be reasonable. That time is past. It is now time to see what's truly inside his box of tricks. What is this? Nothing? It's nothing. There's nothing in here. All of this time, all of this energy and emotion over nothing. Nothing. What's up, everybody? This is none defense on the Blood Letter channel. On the team, Rublet YouTube. Madeline, don't look at it. Shut your eyes, Madeline, and don't look at it, no matter what happens. Don't look, Madeline. Keep your eyes shut. What's up, everybody? This is Nun Defense on the Grublet account on the team, Grublet YouTube. All right, so next, yesterday when we looked at our stats, we were ranked 89. Today we are ranked 85. Holy heck, that's like four slots. Well, that is definitely a brief celebration. Broncos, so Broncos, you hated this attack. There was a missed flare. It just went ugly, and it went ugly fast. All right, cool. Briefly celebrated. Pretty awesome. So let's talk about that intro. What the hell happened? Okay, I'm just going to say it. I've been given permission. Remember, I am not in charge of this team. I get my marching orders from a very secret, very select group of high skill players. And uh, they've been annoyed with Go Broncos for some time. Remember, you can say anything you want about old Grublet. I'm made of rubber, baby. You know, I'll, anything will bounce right off of me. And I'll just flip it into a joke and we'll all have a laugh and a gas and high five each other and it's fine. Ultimately, Broncos was not satisfied with the fact that the core group of players were putting up with silliness and mistakes and learning and they had had enough of it. Just that as a collective, it just it got ugly. It was beginning to spill over into the main chat. Wasn't allowed anymore. Uh, we couldn't have that. And finally, one of those super secret players said he was done. And he was going to tell him he was done directly to his face. He went and did that. It was a semi-big blow, semi blow up in the chat. Go Broncos had his feelings hurt and he left. And then the guys in the secret chat looked at me and said, do your thing. And I said, oh, yeah, you know I'll do my thing. It's like if you guys, because again, I don't, I, even if I get mad, my whole trick is to never let you know about it. It's to, again, flip it to a joke, keep everybody laughing. Those guys, they when, when you piss off those guys to the point that they're willing to let Grublet out of the box and really get mean and nasty, you know you're a dick. Okay, you have done... You have done something, something bad. All right, cool. So there you go. Now you know the backstory. That was designed specifically to irritate and poke in the eyeball of Go Broncos, and it was hilarious. And I hope y'all enjoyed it. Let's go do an op review. All right, we are going to lead this op off with spin. Throw a little barrage out there in order to clear some mines. Sneaking up the back, he's going to fight these two rockets. Then reposition himself, and it's just easy money. Couldn't have gone any better. Couldn't have gone any easier. Great work, Spin. Brilliant. 
absolutely brilliant. After that, Smokey Crab. Now this is a guy who really gets us. He understands that, you know, we could just be goofing around and go up the leaderboard. He never doubted. He's trusted the entire step of the way. And as a result, he's been a part of this since we activated this team. So thank you so much, Crab. You are a brilliant player. You always put yourself in a position to either maximize the damage or at bare minimum expose a weakness of the base. So great work. Never complain about a crab. Unboomable, driven by spin drift. So there were no shields on the base cooker today, so that was kind of convenient. So he was able to get himself just straight at it. Did tons of damage. Even got a victory. Spin is on a roll. All right, and now it's Mystery Begins. So we saw this yesterday. I showed it in real time. So we're just going to just kind of just blast through that there. He gets up there. He does the bullet shock and pop, pop, pop. Great work, Mystery Begins. Can't wait to see your work in the future. Big Sal. Big Sal is uh, opening up with using utilizing Smash Tactics. He was a, his attempt to open up the front of this base. I mean, it was solid. You know, it was, it was a lot of damage output there that he had to absorb, and he managed to take out some defenses, so no sense complaining about it or getting all bent out of shape. Spin Drift. Going up there, did significant damage on the base of Manticore. Now we're looking at Go Broncos. <laughs> It's been like being a teammate of Go Broncos. That was that's that that's the real look behind the scenes of what was really going on. All right, so after that, none defense. This is me. Uh, as, this was not great. As I was trying to do this attack, my father sent me a series of text messages, and uh, it messed with the interface, and I couldn't get my tanks dropped. It just it went weird. It went wild. But hey, I got a few rockets. No complaints. Sam Bam doing a right side clearing on the base Humble Pie. Went in there and just started the process. Going up the side, dealing with some shield generators, dealing with some uh, major defenses that are going to need to be dealt with. I'd say great work all in all by Sam. Use it, utilizing those Rainmakers to his advantage. Thank you so much for that, Sam. Fantastic work. Now we're looking at C. Derm's Cousin. I mean, this is it. It was open. It was ready. He recognized it. He did it. Great work, C. Derm's cousin. Your cousin, C. Derm, would be proud of you. Alrighty, this is Bada Boom, a new member of the team. Ultimately, he got the win through some uh, barrage there at it. He's going to be good. He's going to be good. We just got to, you know, he's got to get past the jitters of knowing his stuff's going to be posted to the old YouTube. Oh, stud. His hot streak ended on this one. He was he was definitely in the midst of a hot streak, but all streaks must come to an end. So, I mean, he, he did fine. He got some stuff happened, but it wasn't a lot. What can you do? But we still love him. He never complains. Like, you know, even when that happened, he didn't come in and start like... Rah, rah, blah, 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 blah. He just said, oopsie-daisy, and we all moved on with our day. And you know what? It was fine. So now we're looking at Bronze Richard, do, continuing the right side clearing, dealing with those boom cannons up there in the corner. Great work. There will definitely be some follow-up there. Specifically, follow-up by me, Gus Pistol. So I flared to this corner, just get everybody up here, utilizing being able to shock those doom cannons and the, some of the shock launchers in one. Managed to spread out and get those four shock launchers and those shields. A little reposition down here. This is just to damage the core as much as I could. Ultimately, I did not get the win, but uh, it's open and ready to receive a victory. So who's going to deliver that victory? We'll find out soon enough. This is Grublet. So I ran a little hack on that rocket. Came over here, managed to get two more rockets before ever Spark's duties were done. Decided to use my gunboat and weaken those mortars just a touch. 
dropped my sacrificial grublets. All right, Don, he forgot to boost. It showed. I sped this up. Nothing happened. I mean, he did manage to break the shield, but should have been a win. He knows it should have been a win. You forget to boost, that will happen. This is Kamikaze. So he's going to go over here utilizing Scorchers, and he's going to deal with that shield generator. Then he's going to come back down here to the beach, utilizing the rest of his team, the rest of his boats. And with just a Rainmaker there, he did all right. Let's speed this part up. All right, so that's the end of that attack. Not bad. Now let's look at Bart. He's going to send a team of Scorchers over here to the left side and start working on dealing with some of these rockets over here. And just between taking receiving damage from the Doom Cannon, he made you know a good amount of work. Like because now when he does this trick, check it out. He's going to put those Zookas right in between those mortars, so they're safe now. So they're not getting blasted at by the rockets. It was good work. Came over here, ran out of time. Great work. Love, love Bort. We love that he just lets us be us. He, again, he deserves to be on any team in the universe. Now he's attacking again with Bort Jr. Going up to the tippy tippy top, dealing with that shield generator. Then he dropped some rainmakers, and I sped this portion up as well. Munted, the plunder from down under. So he recognizes this thing is now ready to receive a victory. So he's going to do a little bit of gunboat gathering, getting everybody in position. A little flare and a smoke, a bullet shock maneuver. Tons of damage. One more attack from Munt is definitely going to bring this thing down. So let's see how he does it. He's going to go over here to the far left side there and start smoking up. Very similar to what he did previously. More bullet shock and pop. The final attack, I wanted to show y'all let what Braun really, truly, truly thinks of Go Broncos. So let's let Braun have the last word on the subject. Yup, that's what he thought. All right, so there you go, team. Once again, we beat another op. We went up four spaces on the leaderboard. That's pretty cool. We did it while having a good time, telling jokes. Yes, there were mistakes, but nobody freaked out about it. Nobody was like, oh my goodness, we'll never be able to break past the top 85 doing it this way. We don't need that. We, we're fine. We'll just, we're going to keep doing this, and we're going to keep doing it with a smile in our heart and a laugh on our shoulder, and we're just going to keep rolling. So... I showed all this and told you all this only so you viewers out there that aren't affiliated with us just understand that sometimes you're going to get a player like that that just refuses to just have a good time and sometimes you got to deal with them and when you have a megaphone occasionally you got to use it and target somebody and Broncos I'm sorry you put me in this position but you did this you caused this there you go. All right, friends, I want to thank y'all so much for taking the time to hang out with me. I hope you'll have a beautiful day. Spend it with your family and enjoy the game because it's fun. Thank you.